Hey, welcome back to another bunch of things. Time to shoot some stuff. Um, I just got to the field. It's 3.21 in the morning. Uh, shooting light is not until 5.50 or so. So it's already 87 degrees, as you can see. So this is gonna be, it's gonna be a hot one. That's for sure. There's no one in the field whatsoever. It's a long weekend. So that may be why. So I'm gonna take a nap and I'm gonna set everything up and get ready. I will see you in a minute. Alright guys, we are about 20 minutes um, for shooting light and I'm just got up after a little nap. Um, had a couple of encounters with rattles. Love those bad boys. Love rattlesnakes. But I have two, two encounters with them actually. Two big boys. Unfortunately, I don't have my hooks with me so I couldn't move them around but they followed, they went down their own way, and now I'm here setting up. I just got to be really cautious when I'm stepping while the sun hasn't fully come out yet because they're here, logically, and they're everywhere. So I will catch up with you in a second. Alrighty, so today I'm going to rock only my lucky dog out there. Logically, you guys can see anything because it's super dark. And then that's that. Let's see what happens. can do it now, I'm gonna have to go that way. to be getting up. This is like nine of them down there now.
lucky duck there. Lee. Damn boys. Wow, couldn't hit anything. Make the move. Did I miss that? Then I had to change my choke to go to the long range. Gonna give me some of this if I can gain some energy. Finally. Finally. Jesus. A lot of hours, finally a clap one. It's a good deal. Right, there you have it. So, it's been a few days since that video. And uh, as I was editing the video, I realized that there was one that I didn't have an outro for the video and two that my misses not necessarily were because the circumstances or because I'm shooting bad which I'm a bad shot already but there were a couple of things happening so one I was taking shots way too far for the range that I actually should be shooting in so logically that resulted on missing but the most important thing that I realized editing the video was the fact that on my swing with the birds, I will stop right before I had the shot or right after I had the shot, which resulted with a lot of misses. So if you're new to shotgunning or shooting uh, birds with a shotgun, um, as different as a rifle with optics or a handgun, when you have a handgun, we 
present the gun to the target and we shoot. We, we, we aim. We, we make sure that the aim is in the right spot. Now with the shotgun you point and you try to make the object that is flying and the shot to connect in the same spot. The only way to achieve that is one, having a proper stand, which I was having issues with, and two, is to swing, as soon as you see your, your bird, so I see the bird, I mount my shotgun, I move ahead at the same speed that the bird is going, and then I fire. If I, if I break that at any time, chances of missing that bird is going to be huge. And the reason being is that the shot is going to go always behind it. So while I was editing that, I was like, oh, okay. And you can clearly see that with the one and only bird on this hunt that I connected with. You can see the swing, passing forward the bird, matching the speed, let the shot go, and then follow through. Now. Not every hunt you're gonna be limited out. Not every hunt you're gonna have a bunch of birds. And that's something that I had to learn and, and, and I still have to learn. And is I'm getting there. But realizing and recognizing where most of my flaws were with the shooting uh, is extremely important because in the future videos then I'm gonna be able to, to have a better accuracy and down more birds. That being said, there is one one more Duff video coming at you guys besides this one. And then the season is closed here in California on the 15th. And then it doesn't open up, up again until November, until October, November. So as I said, I used I used these dove uh, besides they're delicious. Um, last year was the first dove hunting that I ever done, and initially I was like, okay, it's all right, it's a good. It was me to learning how to like learning the shotgun, learning learning the whole process of the hunt. But I gotta say, this year um, having more hunts and having to connect with more birds. I actually like it. I like it a lot. I will not say that I will put it right next to the level of hunting dogs, but it's good. It, I like it. It's interesting. So, and it served me as a practice before dog season hit, so I can I can familiarize myself with the shotgun again and 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 be more more accurate. Um, this is part of this channel. It's part of, of learn and grow together and, and, and learn new things every time. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching. This video is was a perfect example of not all the hunts are perfect and to me it was great to go through a hunt like this because he finger pointed a lot of flaws and mistakes that I was having with my swings and my and the way that I'm shooting so that this video actually helped me improve on that area and more importantly it was just the, the fact of being out there and just getting out of your regular routine and and just everything that you have to deal with on a daily basis but enough japping thank you so very much for watching if you haven't done yet like and subscribe that will help me and help the channel grow and i will see you in the next one pancho out